Hey everyone, today, like I said in my previous video, I'm gonna show you how to make this 12 by 12 stud roof. So then, so first what you have to do is take two two by 12 plates, put a one by two roof slope, if I can find one, if I can find one, and we're joined by a part-time uh, part guest, which is my cat. Hey buddy! And he's just gonna lay there now. Okay. Yeah, you can hear him screwing stuff over. Okay. So we're gonna take a one by two roof slope and place it in that corner. Then take another. Um, two, they take two by two. Put it like that, so that these two plates are held together. Now, take a two by eight slope brick. Place it like that. And then just start layering 2 by 12 plates underneath it so that they all hang over. And I'm sorry I'm in my pajamas, it's like 6.50 a.m. where I live, so yeah. And yeah, you're going to need 6 of these 2 by 12 plates. Then just get the last one. I can find mine. Ah, here it is. And then, you're probably thinking, we'll tie. We'll tie. It's uneven. So, tie, tag. It's uneven. So, what we do now is we take another 1 by 2 roof slope. Place it right there. Now, we take a... Now we just start centering these bricks, leaving a 1 by 2 space on either side. So we'll start doing this with two by twos. So it looks like this. And I take two more one by one roof slopes. And uh, um, yeah, it's pretty early here. And uh, place one on each side once again. The only difference from this side and the other side. Is that on this on the other side? I could only is that I could only find one two by eight um, roof slope in my bin of roof slopes and inverted slopes and stuff like that. So place a one by two on the left and the one by two and another one by two slope on the right. I could find it. I know it's down on the ground right now, but... So, so far you should have crud! A frick did that go? Here it is. Crud! What the frick did that go? So, let me just find that other one by two or two by one. I don't like to say two by one. Roof slope, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have found it and placed it like that. Now we're going to start layering bricks along the insides, but we're going to leave a gap on either side. A gap on either side. So this is where we're going to start making some profile bricks. Once we've placed a 1 by 6 a two, I mean a 2 by 6 oh, 2 by 8, then 2 more 2 by 6s so it looks like this. Now what we're going to want to do is right next to that 2 by 8, we want to take a profile brick. Make it so that these ridges face out. Place it like that. And then take this piece that looks like a brick and make it so that that part faces out. So that these lock together. Like, oh, you have to turn it sideways. Sorry. So you turn it like this. And do that. This will, these two, these ridges will lock together. And then I need another one by two profile um, brick to finish it up. Right there. Make it so that these ridges once again face in. Now take a regular one by two and place it right there and then we have this gap here let's fill that in with 
a one by a two by two brick. So it looks like this. Now we still have a gap. So we want to take a one by six brick and two one by two bricks. Place the one by six in the center. Place the two one by twos on either side. Let it go. Okay, I guess I'll get another one. Okay. So that it looks like this. And now we're gonna have to start up the second layer. Let's do some slopes. I'm using only two by two slopes right now. That's that side. Now we flip it around. I'm going to start off with a, a two by three roof slope, then a two by two. Two by four, a two by two on this far end, and then I'm gonna need another um, one by two roof slope. If I can find one in here, I know I have it because I've written out the building directions for this and memorized them. Huh? My cat get it? <sighs> no, here it is. So. Place it like that. Now, and you can do any pattern you would like, but I'm just doing this so it is better held together. Now take a bunch of two by sixes and start put and start on the left. Now I'm gonna take um three two by twos. Place them here. And then, to fill in the extra void we got, we're gonna take um, three more two by two bricks. Now we're gonna begin the next level of slopes with, we're only gonna use two by twos for this level. Well, yeah, for this side, I'm only going to use two by twos, because I want to make a pattern. I want to make a good pattern, so it looks like this, and then on the other side, we flip it around, start with the one by three, and two by three, and I'm also doing this for stabilizer, then a two by two, and then another two by two. A uh, um, two by four, but make it so there's this leftover void, and then fill that in with a one by two, like that. Now take some more um, two by two um, bricks and one by two bricks that are regular that do not have grooves or brick designs on them. And uh, then let's begin to place them like this. Let's begin to place them inside here. And these are actual bricks, these aren't slopes right now. And I hope this tutorial is going to be helpful. And I actually, I actually encourage you guys to use my roof in your mocks. Go ahead. You don't even have to say that it was my roof that you're using. Oh, you can do. You can use it. I don't care. I don't care if you use my roof in your mocks. I'd be cool. Um, and I don't care if you say that it was made by me or if you don't. I don't care about that either. So yeah, and yeah, and the video 
it's not over yet, though. As most of you guys can tell. Because it's... Because these bricks are still pissing me off. Okay. So I'm going to take a... Um... Ooh. This. Um, two by three. And place it right there. And then I'm going to take another two by three. Like that. Now I'm going to begin another layer. Oh. Just a second. Back up step. Actually, down here, we want to place a one by one um, in the back, but it's not a slope. Not a slope. Just a regular one by one brick. We want to place it right here. Because in this void's going to be for our chimney. Good thing I caught that. So now, keep building up with slopes. Two by twos on this side. Now do that on the other side, just using any leftover 45 degree roof slopes, which I'm using some 2x2 two two roof slopes, and 1x2s, just for stabilization I'm going to leave this void and fill it in, so it looks like this, and this on the other side, and then take some more bricks that are two by I'm gonna take a one by six place it in two by six place it in the center and place two two by twos on the side now let's build up the last layer of our slopes shall we okay so let's take a two by three place it there another two by three and uh, then take a two by two slope another two by two slope and another 2x2 two two slope. Now let's move on to that other side of where we need to do our last layer of slopes. And Cat, what the heck are you doing? And then start placing 2x2s two and just random slopes on the other side. And then we're going to get into the smooth tiles. So there, now we're going to take four. Um, one by four um, smooth tiles. Place them not on top in these gaps, as you saw that we have made. We've left over to give it I left over to give it a more realistic look. And you have to make sure that these plates on the bottom run the lines run this way, not this way. So yeah. And now we just gotta take some. Um, I'm going to take a 2x4 smooth tile, and I'm going to place it along the top right there. And then I'm going to take a two 1x6 smooth tiles, place them like that, like so. And then, where did my other, where did a 2x2 two two smooth, here it is, place it right there. Now we just got to do the uh, chimney of our thing. So take a one by one round brick and a one by one round nose cone, stick it on top, then stick that in this void here. So I hope this helped in how to make this cool 12 by 12 plated roof on your barn style roof.